Corpus. Hello everyone, myself Munisha on behalf of Corpus welcome you all in this V blog in which we are going to learn about the registration process of lead acid battery recycling business in India. First of all, let's understand the process of lead acid battery recycling in this brief overview. One of the cheapest ways of storing energy is through lead acid batteries. The construction of this battery includes two electrodes namely lead and other is lead oxide. These electrodes are immersed in the water solution and sulfuric acid. When the battery generates energy, the lead combines with sulfuric acid and creates lead sulfate. The lead oxide combines with hydrogen and sulfuric acid and creates lead sulfate and water. As the battery gets discharged, the lead sulfate builds up on the electrode and the water builds up in sulfuric acid solution. This process will be reversed when the battery is charged. The lead acid battery, if not handled or disposed of properly, can contaminate soil and groundwater. It can also become a cause for environmental pollution. Hence, Proper lead acid battery recycling is necessary to avoid major environmental hazard. So what are the rules and regulations governing lead acid battery recycling? These rules governing lead acid battery recycling is called the Batteries Management and Handling Rules 2001. These rules shall be applicable to every manufacturer, importer, reconditioner, assembler, dealer, recycler, auctioner, consumer and bulk consumer. Lead Acid Batteries Recycling The demand of lead acid batteries has gone up significantly. Some of these batteries are currently in use and some are in the process of disposal and recycling. 98% of a lead acid battery can be reclaimed through recycling. The lead, plastic and acid components can be reprocessed and manufactured into other products as well. After the batteries are collected, they are broke apart and sulfuric acid is neutralized and turned into sodium sulfate. The lead and polypropylene parts are separated by putting the broken battery pieces in a vat and the lead falls to the bottom and the plastic materials float. The plastic pieces are collected and the liquid is drained off to retrieve the lead. Both lead and plastic castings are recycled into new batteries or used in other products. The recycling of lead acid battery is prevalent since a long time, especially in industrialized countries. In developing countries, the industrial recycling facilities employ various manual techniques where batteries are broken, emptied, separated and charged manually. The lead extracted is refined and put into ingots manually which creates a hazard for workers and environment in general. Therefore, there is a need to implement effective control measure in the battery recycling plant to protect the workers' health and to prevent pollution. So what are the responsibilities of a recycler? Every recycler shall make an application for registration to the Ministry of Environment and Forest or an agency designated by it by submitting the form in number 6 which contains the information. It ensures compliance of the registration terms and conditions. Submit annual return according to form 7 to the state board. Make available all the records pertaining to the receipt of used batteries, quantity sources to be submitted to the SPCB for inspection. Mark recycled on lead recovered by reprocessing. Create public awareness through ads, publications etc. in respect of hazards of lead and obligation of the consumers to return used batteries only to the registered dealers or delivered to the designated collection center. Coming to the process of registration for lead acid batteries, recycling, 
The procedure for registration of recyclers is as follow. Every recycler of the used lead batteries need to make an application in Form 6 to Joint Secretary, Ministry of Environment and Forest or any officer designated by Ministry or an agency designated by it along with the following documents which includes copy of valid consents under Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act and Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981, copy of valid authorization under Hazardous Waste Management and Handling Rules 2008 and 2000. 2016, copy of valid registration certificate with district industry center, copy of proof of installed capacity issued by SPCP district industry center, the officer of the ministry of environment and forest or any other officer designated by the ministry shall ensure that the recyclers have the appropriate facilities, technical capabilities and equipment to recycle used batteries. The Ministry of Environment and Forest or any other officer designated by the Ministry or an agency designated by it will take the decision on the application for the registration. Coming to the validity and renewal of this registration, the registration shall be valid for a period of two years from the date of issue of registration. The validity can be extended by applying for renewal. For renewal of the registration, an application for renewal of registration can be made in form number 6 before the expiry of the registration. The Ministry of Environment and Forest or any other officer designated by the ministry or an agency designated by it has the authority to renew the registration of the recycler. Talking about cancellation of the registration, then, then the Ministry of Environment and Forest can cancel or suspend the registration if the registered recycler fails to comply with the registration conditions or with any provisions of the Act but not before providing an opportunity to the applicant of being heard. The State Board shall monitor the compliance of the conditions. Further, an appeal can be made against any order of suspension, cancellation or refusal of registration passed by MOEF. Such appeal should be in the writing and it must be accompanied with a copy of order appealed against. Tips for Lead Acid Battery Recycling Plant Owners Some important tips that lead acid battery recycling plant owners should adopt includes focusing on the use of good plant design with less potential for emission of contaminating substances and note that new smelting process is much cleaner than the traditional blast furnaces. Install pollution abatement technologies to avoid lead exposure, implement control measures like maintaining minimum standards of air quality, use of protective equipment, medical surveillance of employees and practice good hygiene in general. So now how COPBIS can assist you? We at COPBIS will help you to obtain the registration for lead acid battery recycling from the concerned authority for proper management of hazardous waste and provide complete support for setting up a lead acid battery recycling plant. Therefore contact COPBIS today. That's all for this video. For any other concerns or questions on this process, kindly email us at info at the rate or call on the numbers mentioned over the screen. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.